Hello devs. So recently I've been playing with uh, React hook forms and uh, just trying to find uh, like approach I like when building forms in React. Uh, as I found React hook forms doesn't have uh, that much uh, examples of complex forms. So uh, like everyone is building them in different ways. Uh, most of the time people are using uh, use form context when uh, working with nested inputs um, and uh, I don't really like this approach like as it kills re reusability because kind of nested controls have to know about external form like where the context where they are used uh, and uh, what I suggest like my approach which uh, I found really nice is to uh, wrap each group of controls into its own control. So uh, what I mean by control is uh, uh, this kind of thing where you have value on change, like error and ref. Uh, you can add some more, but these are the main ones I found useful in that context. So uh, I define this interface, control value, accessor props, uh, and uh, like in each uh, of the sections, uh, for example, like uh, salary section, just it has like yes, uh, four, four controls. Uh, and I wrap those four controls into a single control that has its own value, which is defined here, like currency, min, max, and period, uh, and don't change, right? This is the main ones. Uh, and I handle all the changes within this control, uh, like inside this uh, single component. And this control doesn't uh, have, know anything about external form, like it can be used standalone or like uh, without any external form as well. Uh, and uh, yeah, it doesn't have any internal state as well, so it only relies on value and on change. Uh, so pretty simple idea. Uh, select like uh, I have on currency change for example and I emit on change uh, that's very simple and then what I do is uh, so like first of all let me show the external form like it's just that's, that's the way I link basically name equals salary so and then everything else is handled automatically uh, so, and I created this uh, create control uh, high order component, uh, which just wraps this reusable block. So, which is just generic, uh, generic, not even control, but like uh, I'd say uh, element that has value and don't change. Like just classic way, right? And I wrap it with controller that I receive from uh, React hook form. Uh, so it's just a utility hook uh, that uh, allows me to use these controls in React hook forms. So this one, like original one, doesn't depend on uh, React hook form at all. And then I just create wrap it around and export as a like just salary section and control suffix. Uh, so that's, uh, that's how it works. Uh, we can see like also some complex controls, more complex ones. Uh, this, all, all that you see in here use the same idea. Uh, validation also is working. Scrolling also working. Right, and the only uh, thing that outside form handles is uh, when some uh, section depends on other section. And in this case, it's just one, uh, one case where I uh, reset the skills uh, when category is changed, right? Uh, and uh, I think in most cases it's quite uh, rare, like, it happens, but uh, most of the time you can split the form up into individual independent controls. So uh, I, I repeat once again, like each group of controls is in itself is a control. 
so it's very clean, very reusable. Like I, I, I could uh, also like reuse this languages thing in a totally different form or even without any form and it would work uh, just fine. So uh, no form context, nothing. Uh, like as simple as changing the name, like would uh, link it to the to a different field, uh, and I have uh, all working perfectly with uh, values. Like if I feel and validation, right? So I have everything set up correctly. 